and because the light has gone off darkness has taken over this nation let the church rise up for this nation let the watchmen rise up for this nation let the ministers rise up for this nation let us stand in the gap let us pray for those that are in authority let us pray for this nation let us humble ourselves before the almighty god and tell god that god forgive us of our sins forgive us of our transgression forgive us of our iniquity wash us cleanse us by the blood of jesus we need the restoration we need healing of our land please turn your bible to psalm 9 the verse number 17 psalm 9 the verse number 17 the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget god let me read the new english translation for you the new english translation the wicked are turned back and sent to Sheol, the hopes, no, I'm sorry, the wicked are turned back and sent to Sheol. This is the destiny of all the nations that ignore God. This is the destiny of all the nations that ignore God. I want us to look at another familiar scripture, Second Chronicles 7.14. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. Second Chronicles seven the verse number fourteen. Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land i will take it again if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land amen, amen. i want to teach on a subject of entitled the nation that forgets they are god the nation that forgets they are God. Please, you may be seated. The nation that forgets they are God. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you will speak through me. You will minister through me. You will use me as your oracle. Let me speak your counsel necessary for today and let somebody live here bless in jesus name amen. Amen. amen i want you to say it with me the nation that forgets they are god um i want to just can i talk can, can we just talk yeah, yeah. I believe we need to talk. Hallelujah. I want you to say it again. The nation that forgets they are God. When you look through scripture. Very carefully and very critically. You realize that any nation that sins against God. 
or any nation that forgets God, they begin to have consequences. Any time a nation forget the Lord they are God, there is a satanic invasion into that nation. There is a demonic invasion. There is evil. There is wickedness that comes into that nation. When you read the scriptures very carefully, you realize that any time Israel turn her back against God, they either go into captivity or their enemies begin to attack them, destroy them, and you realize that people begin to die anyhow because of the iniquity of the nation and because of the sin of the nation. So anytime a nation forgets they are Lord, the Lord they are God, there is trouble. There is disaster. There is a storm. I am saying this to say this. That if you look at our nation today, a lot is happening. And what is happening is not of God. What is happening is not from above. What is happening, God is not in it. And the reason is because our nation has forgotten God. Our nation has relegated God to the background. Look at everything that is happening in our nation. Legislations. Legislations that are against God. These are the things that are happening in our nation. Look at the things that have happened in these few days. The killings. It started, uh, I believe, three weeks ago or a month ago, Florida, Orlando. It has been one disaster after the other. One wickedness after the other. One evil after the other. Just when we think that we are getting over this one. Before we even recover from the first one, another one shows up. It has been one evil after the other. In every aspect of this nation, even concerning the election. We have two candidates. One said he has never asked God for forgiveness in his life before. The other one said Christians should put aside their ethics and support gay rights. These are the two choices that we have. And the reason why we have two ch these two choices is because this nation has turned its back on God. Because this nation has relegated God to the background. This nation has ostracized God completely, absolutely. In everything that this nation does, God is completely eliminated from it. In our judicial system, in the executive, in the legislature, they have taken God completely out. And any time God is out of the equation, hell moves in. That is why the scripture we read in Psalm 9, the verse number 17, the Bible says that the wicked shall go to hell and the nation that forgets God will be like them. 
It means that any nation that forgets God will quickly go down to hell. And we are seeing this nation sliding very rapidly to hell. Very rapidly to hell. That is why we believers, we must come together and pray for this nation. We cannot sit down and say that this is none of our business and it doesn't concern us. The Bible says that pray for the nation in which thou dwellest. For in the peace thereof shall thou have peace. When there is no peace in the nation, the people that live in that nation cannot have peace. And the Bible also makes us understand that righteousness exalts a nation. If righteousness exalts a nation, then sin and iniquity bring down a nation. Where there is sin, where there is transgression, where there is wickedness, where there is evil, the nation will come crashing down. That is why the Bible says that the nation that forgets God will go down fast to hell. That is why our nation is sinking each and every minute. Not every day, every minute. The nation is going down and down. Righteousness exhorts a nation. Sin is a reproach unto the people. That is why America today has become a reproach to other nations. The respect, the honor, the dignity that this nation had before, it is no longer there because this nation has turned its back on God. And when you turn your back on God, you lose your dignity, you lose your honor, and you lose your reputation. So much is happening in our nation. Started with Ten Commandments. And then it went on to our schools. No prayer in our schools. And then it became gay rights. And then it became transgender rights. And then it became gun rights. The First Amendment. Evil has invaded this nation. And the Bible is saying in 2 Chronicles 7 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. And before God can intervene, before God can turn this nation around to avoid the sinkiness of this nation, we must humble ourselves before the Almighty God and realize that we have turned our back on him and we have sinned against God. This nation is going down so rapidly. Go to our churches, even the churches, the sanctuary of God, so called. Look at the ministers. They cannot preach righteousness. They cannot preach holiness. They cannot preach sanctification. They cannot preach purity because they themselves, they are sissies. Because the choir leader is a sissy. The chairman of the Deacon Ball is a sissy. The Bible makes us understand that marriage is between a man and a woman. But today in our nation, marriage 
is defined as two people who love themselves. I was watching a, a program on CNN. I was watching a program on CNN and it was Don Lemon who was interviewing somebody, thank you, was in, interviewing somebody and they were talking about all these gay rights and the person was saying that uh, he believes in the traditional marriage and marriage is between a man and a woman. And then Don Lemon said that no marriage is not between a man and a woman. Marriage is between two people who love themselves. I was so furious and angry, I just turned the TV off. But that is what we have in our nation today. We are doing everything that contradicts the word of God. The president that we have in the history of this nation, over 250 years, that this nation became independent. For the very first time, we have a president who came out openly supporting gay rights. Supporting gay rights. For the first time in the history of this nation. Supporting gay rights. Any national program that we have, all the ministers they invite, they forbid them from praying in the name of Jesus. And because these ministers also has backsliding and they are so much in conformity to the world they oblige by what they tell them so they don't pray in the name of Jesus they will rather pray in the name of God which contradicts the word because the Bible says Jesus himself said whatsoever you ask my father in my name it shall be granted Whatsoever you ask my father in my name, it shall be granted. But in our nation today, that is non existence. This nation is rapidly going down, going down. This nation is decaying by the minutes. Evil everywhere, wickedness everywhere, controversy everywhere. Meanwhile, the reason why this nation is the superpower nation, the reason why this nation is great because there is no any other nation beside Israel that was established in the foundation of the word of God. There is no any other nation. No any other nation that is founded, established on the principles of the word of God beside Israel no any other nation like America. The founding fathers, they were believers. The founding fathers, they were prayer warriors. The founding fathers, they read the scriptures. The founding fathers went to church. But today we are having a nation that has forgotten their God. The Bible makes us understand that any nation that stand with Israel, God said, I will bless that nation. 
And over the years, America has stood with Israel. Over the years. But for the very first time, we are hearing that America shouldn't be standing with Israel. For the very first time. We are hearing that America shouldn't stand with Israel. So right now, there is a conflict between America and Israel. There is no harmony anymore. That is why Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, will come to Congress and speak to Congress without talking to the President. Evil is everywhere in this nation. Everywhere in this nation. This is a nation that people who practice witchcraft can openly say, I am a witch and I'm a wizard. There is a program on CNN called uh, the United Shades of America. And I was watching one of the episodes and, 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 and this guy was interviewing these two people that were standing by the roadside and they boldly with audacity with the temerity said that they practice witchcraft and the woman said I'm a witch and the man said I'm a warlock even the guy who hosts that program was astonished and amazed he started running away from them But that is how this nation has become. And that is why the nation is going down so fast, so quick, so rapidly. And evil is permeating everywhere. America has lost the presence of God. That is why the forces of darkness has taken over this nation. Principalities and powers has taken over this nation. And that is why we see the evil that we see today. The killings of innocent children and innocent people. Evil has become rampant. In America, it has become an epidemic. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear them and heal their land. If this land is going to be healed, the first thing we got to do is that we believers, we must come together and stand in the gap and humble ourselves and confess our sins and our transgression and the iniquity and plead with God for eliminating him out of our nation, our system, our education, our politics and ask God that he would temper judgment with mercy. That is the only time that this land can be healed. That is the only time that this land can be healed. We have seen too much evil. Too much evil. Too much evil. Right now, it is very hard for you to turn on your TV and ask your children to watch TV. It, it, it is hard. It's hard. I don't allow my boys to watch TV any longer. No TV. Because too much evil. Too much sin. People even brag of sin.
And because America is a superpower, it's a great nation. Whatever evil that happens here spread everywhere. Everywhere. There are nations of the world that America had told the government of those nations that if they will accept gay rights, they will give them money. They will support them. And if they refuse, nothing is coming to them. This is how evil America has become. This is how sinful we have become. That is why the church in this nation is dead. The church in this nation, dead. That is why we don't experience revival. I want to see the pastor, the minister, that will come and say that I'm experiencing revival in my church. None. No revival. We don't see the wonders of God. We don't see the power of God. We don't see the miracles of God. because of the iniquity and the evilness of this nation. And all the ministers in this nation are following suit. Hardly will you find any pastor in this nation that prays at least an hour. Hardly. Including all these tele-evangelists. The messages right now is about themselves. Fleshly, wedly. The messages doesn't transform. The messages doesn't bring conviction to sinners. That is why there is no revival. Go check other nations. Go to South Korea. Revival. Prayer. Churches owns prayer mountains. They go there, stay there, pray for hours. And that is why they experience revival the power of God, the wonders of God, the miracles of God. Go to Asia, go to Africa. It is only the Western nations that are not experiencing the power of God. In fact, today, in our churches, you hear ministers preach that wonders, miracles are no longer for today. It's past. <clears throat> A church that preaches this kind of message, how can they experience the power of God? The wonders of God. How can they experience revival? Our churches are sick. Our churches are dead. Where is the voice of the church in the midst of all that is happening? Where is the voice of the church? Where is the voice of believers? Where are the watchmen?
God said, I sought for a watchman who will stand in the gap that I may not destroy the nation. I found none. Where are the watchmen? Because if the watchmen are on guard, the things that are happening in our nation shouldn't be happening. Where are the intercessors? Where are the prayer warriors? Where are the people that stand in the gap and they stop the beatings of the devil and the activities of the enemy from permeating into our nation? Where are the prayer warriors? Where are the watchmen? Where are the watchwomen? Where are the intercessors? Where there is no intercessors, where there is no watchmen, the devil has a free course to invade. That is why our nation is being destroyed. Anytime you turn the TV on, it's just evil upon evil upon evil, wickedness upon wickedness upon wickedness. The other day my wife was saying that <laughs> I'm afraid to turn the TV on. I said, why? He said, because I don't want to be hearing bad news. Every single day. The Bible says that we are the salt of the world. And if the salt loses its saltness, what else and what again can we do for the saltness of the salt to be rest uh, restored? And if we are the salt of the world, then we are the preserved, uh, uh, preservative mechanism on this earth to prevent this earth from decaying or getting rotten. But because we have lost our server, because we have lost our saltiness, the nation is rotten, the nation is decaying, and the nation is sinking in sin and iniquity. And darkness has engulfed this nation. Even though the Bible says that ye are the light of the world. But where the light goes off, darkness takes over. And because the light has gone off, darkness has taken over this nation. Let the church rise up for this nation. Let the watchmen rise up for this nation. Let the ministers rise up for this nation. Let us stand in the gap. Let us pray for those that are in authority. Let us pray for this nation. Let us humble ourselves before the almighty God and tell God that God forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our transgression. Forgive us of our iniquity. Wash us, cleanse us by the blood of Jesus we need the restoration we need healing of our land if nobody is speaking at least one person must rise up and begin to speak if nobody cares at least one person should rise up Enough of the evil. America cannot sink. America cannot die premature. America is too young to die. America cannot go to hell. It cannot. It cannot. It cannot. It cannot. Revival must sweep this nation. The power of God must cover this nation. The glory of God must cover this nation. 
the fear of God must engulf this nation. How can a presidential candidate say that, as for me, I don't ask God for forgiveness? Who dare you? And you want to be a president of a whole nation. And let me tell you, check through scriptures. Any time the leadership of the nation is evil, it affects everybody. Everybody. When the leadership forgets God, and the consequences and the punishment is coming. He starts, actually, he even starts from the people. The Bible says that, and David wanted to count the children of the Israelites. And Joab said, don't do it. When you do it, it will be evil. And when you do it, what it means is that you are telling God that you believe in the arm of the flesh. And it is by your power and strength that you have had all this victory and you have had all this triumph in all these battles. And so don't count the people, don't do the census. David despised the voice of reasoning despise godly counsel went ahead and counted the people and when he counted the people the bible says that and the angel of the lord showed up in fact god spoke to him and god said you have sinned against me by counting the people you have three punishments choose one I will bring famine in the land. Second, I will give you and your subordinates, your subjects, to your enemies. Three, I will kill some of you. David said, It is better if we die in your hands. And guess what? The person that sinned was standing. But 70,000 people died. 70,000. 70,000 of innocent, ignorant people died. Whilst the sinner was still standing. Innocent people. They died. Who were ignorant of what David did. They were murdered. So oftentimes, when the people in leadership sin, it is their subjects that suffer. That is why the Bible says, pray for those who are in authority. Today, occultism is entering into our schools. Everywhere. Reading witchcraft books, Wicca. We need God. This nation must bow her knees. And ask for forgiveness. This nation must humble herself. We can no longer take this sin. We can no longer live in this evil. We can no longer live in this iniquity. We can no longer. Let the church rise up. Because we are the hope for this nation. 
We are the hope. We are the hope for this nation. We are the voice for this nation. We cannot look at this nation for it to go to hell. The nation that forgets its God goes to hell. Goes to Hades. Goes to Sheol. The nation that forgets is God. I want you to rise up. Tonight, I want us to pray for this nation. We are praying for the president. We, we are praying for, for, for his cabinet. And we are praying for government officials. And we are praying, interceding for this nation. And we are saying that God forgive us of our sins. We have done evil. We have done abominably. We have done that which is detestable unto you. That which is enmity against you. We are asking you for mercy. We are asking you that you would temper judgment with mercy. Because let me tell you, the judgment that is upon this nation, it is too much. It is too much. The judgment is too much. It's too much. God is not smiling at this nation. God has frowned. God has frowned. God as well. Because of the wickedness, because of the evil, because of the sin, it is too much. What is happening in this nation? Even Sodom and Gomorrah was much better than this nation. Sodom and Gomorrah went into flames and reduced to ashes because of homosexuality, lesbianism. And because they turned their back against God, God wiped them from the surface of the earth. But in America today, it is not just homosexuality. It is not just lesbianism. It is not just turning our back against God. But today, if you are a woman and you don't like it, you can change into a man. Transgender. If you are a man and you don't like it, you can change it into a woman. And guess what? The nation applauds. The media applauds. When that man, the Olympics gold medalist, Chris Jenner, Bruce Jenner, did his transgender, the media was saying that because he has done that, he is going to make millions because of that. I was watching the news. I said, are these people for real? And truly, just because of that, he is making millions. They are using him for commercials. All kinds of things. <laughs> this is how this nation has become. The other day I was watching a show. <clears throat> a man who is now a woman who is now a man and is married to a woman. And the woman cannot have children. But because 
She is originally a woman. Her womb is intact. And so she became pregnant. The man. Pregnant. Oh, how many of you, you've not seen it? You didn't watch it. I, don't, don't make it look like I'm just fabricating something fictitious. This is reality. Gave birth twice. Gave it to the woman to take care of. What an, an abominable act. More than Sodom and Gomorrah. What evil. What this nation is doing is more than any other nation in scripture and in today's world. The kind of iniquity and sin and the abominable act is more than any other dispensation and generation. That is why we must stand in the gap. That is why we must pray. There is an agency in the spirit for the church to rise up. This is 911. This is not time to sleep. This is time to be widely awake on our knees praying for this nation. Traveling for this nation. Standing in the gap for this nation. Everything that makes America, America is no longer there. This nation has lost its original values. It is completely gone. We cannot be here as a church and pretend that nothing is happening. We cannot. We cannot. Because whatever is happening, we are part of it. We are even the main problem. We are the cause. Because if we are on fire, if we are praying, if we are taking our stand, if we are interceding, these things that are happening shouldn't be happening. Today we have gay church. Gay church. Pastored by gay ministers. The other day, I was, uh, uh, I took my family to uh, Cheesecake Factory. That was uh, last week, or last two weeks or so. Pastor Paul, every two steps I make, gaze. It was overwhelming. Every two steps, gaze. As for Georgia, it is the headquarters. Every two steps. My wife looked at me. I look at her. I said, are we in the midst of gays? She said, let's take these boys. Let's go. We have to leave. Before they, my boys begin to realize that, oh, it is normal. Evil, evil, 
and the church is sleeping. The church is sleeping. The church is deeply asleep. Doing nothing. And don't see anything wrong. The church is conforming. Today in the church, the church is preaching. Oh, love the gays. Oh, love this. I love the person, but I don't love the gay. Why should I condone sin? Whatever the Bible is against, we must be against it. Don't let us twist the Bible. For our sins and for our transgression. And I'm saying it. You that you are watching me all over the world through you stream. Listen very carefully. No gay person will come to me and say that word me. You must be sick or mad. You must be crazy. I should wed you. Marry you. A boy and a boy. Two girls. Marry you. That's why when I started seeing the foolishness that is going on in our nation, immediately I added to our constitution that in this church we believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. And so if you, when you take me to court, you will not win because it is in our constitution. Yeah. We must rise up in prayer. Can you say that you feel you are a woman trapped in a man's body? Or you feel you are a man trapped in a woman's body? Are you saying that God is foolish? Your creator who created you is mad. He was confused when he was creating you. But this is what we have. In our nation today, it has become acceptable. Very acceptable. There was a show on TV. I've forgotten the name of the show. It was these bearded men. What, what, what was that? Huh? Yeah, Dog Dynasty. And they asked... What is marriage to you? He said, marriage is between a man and a woman. They took them off. Just because he said, marriage is between a man, they took their show off the screen. That is how evil this nation has become. how evil this nation has become. When Chick-fil-A started talking about uh, 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 the abortion right, and they said, no, we, we are not going to support that. And then um, Hobby Lobby, they were speaking against them. Everybody was opposing them. But because they stood for righteousness, uh, that very week, that very month, their sales went up. We cannot pretend that everything is okay. We cannot. We cannot. We have children that are growing. The youth that are coming up. We must live a better world for them. A better nation for them. Not this one. Not this one. 
not this one because this one is full of sin this one is full of evil this one is satanic this one is wicked we cannot leave this for them otherwise posterity will curse us uh, there are still preachers who are bold in the land who speak the truth They are corrupt ones, but they are still bold ones. Elijah said, I am the only one who had no bow to Baal. And God said, you are lying. I have kept for myself. There is always a group of people that God keep for himself. He said, I have kept for myself. 7,000 men that have not bowed to Baal. That they have never bowed to Baal and they have never kissed Baal. I kept for myself. There are still people that God has kept for himself. Tonight, I want us to pray for this nation. I want you to pray passionately. And say, God, forgive us of our evil. Forgive us for turning our back on you. Temper judgment with mercy. Let there be healing in our land. Let there be restoration of righteousness. Let there be restoration of purity. I want you to open your mouth and begin to pray right now. I want you to pray passionately. Pray passionately. Pray passionately. Pray passionately. Our land need to be healed. It needs to be healed. Matia Father, forgive us of our transgression. Forgive us of our iniquity. Forgive us of our sins. Heal our love. Heal our love. Heal our love. Matia Kapopa. Rekemelea Sukabelea Kate. Matua Kape. Let the 
blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus wash us, let the blood of Jesus touch us, my water bubble, recapture the door, recapture the sukkah, my water bubble, recapture the door, recapture the sukkah, my water bubble, my water bubble, my water bubble, my water bubble. Thank you for watching this message. For more information about this message or the ministry, call us at 770-941-1934 or visit us online at eagleschapel.com.